Hi everyone, I'm Frederick. I'm the founder of Synedis. We have created an app called Hush App. We focus on cybersecurity. We're here in Barcelona. And today is my first entry into this video diary that I've decided to start. You know, a lot of people have written diaries where they tell about their experiences. And I've been playing with the idea for a while, uh, but as you know, when you have a startup, you really don't have any time. So that was kind of at the bottom of my list. Uh, but then I realized it would really be helpful both actually for me to just, you know, share with myself how I feel and, and like say, you know, out loud, let's say, so that I could really reflect on that. And, you know, I thought it could be interesting also for our community to see where we came from, get to know us and get to see our evolution every day. So, yeah, <laughs> first time, so, you know, please forgive any um, for, um, imperfection in uh, the way we're going to uh, record this. And what I'm going to say, I'm actually just uh, sitting at my desk. Uh, I have, like, uh, the camera of the computer, and, well, that's it. So we're uh, Monday, uh, 27th of August of 2018. Uh, obviously, it's the first day doing this, but it's not the first day of the company. We've been around now for three and a half years as a startup and uh, you know we still have a lot to learn uh, hopefully I've le we have learned a little bit along the way and I just want to share with you uh, how I feel and what we're achieving and progress that we're making so uh, since, since Monday actually I start by talking about the weekend uh, and that was actually a, a productive and uh, quite intense weekend uh, honestly it's not Always like that. I mean, at the very beginning of the company, I was working every single weekend and like both days of the weekend, which was really a lot. And I've been trying to, over the years, to balance a little more about my uh, private life and my work life because at some point, my work life was the only life I had, which, yeah, you have to make sacrifices at a startup, but you also need to have time to, uh, you know, recuperate, to uh, think about something else so that actually when you're doing something else, you can think clearly about the things you need to do in your business. So... Uh, you know, in 2018, I think I've done a, a little bit of a better job of uh, making time for myself and, you know, my, my private life, uh, even though still working a lot, you know. And, uh, you know, at some point I was able to only work one day out of the whole weekend, but quite, a, quite an instant day, in, intense day when I was working. And I would say in the last few months, I've been trying to, like, disconnect uh, completely during the weekends, which... Uh, Hasn't been always the case, but I've at least tried to. Uh, but anyway, uh, in that respect, this last weekend was <laughs> was not a disconnection weekend. Uh, and I'm fine with that because actually, as I said, it was very productive and uh, very useful. So some of the things I, I focused on this weekend was uh, actually kind of like feedback of the app. So, you know, by using our apps more and more, I mean, of course, you always find some things that you can improve. And the really good thing on that front is that, you know, while maybe uh, at the beginning of the year uh, when I was doing those testing sessions, well, I was finding things like pretty big that were not working or not working as expected and so on. And of course, when you are growing as a stuff, you always expect to find some things that are not the way they should be. Uh, but the good thing is like now the, the things that I'm finding uh, typically, there are just some like tiny, tiny details, you know, like for example, okay, you're starting a payment process and then you switch uh, the screen on your iPhone and then you switch back and then, okay, a button maybe is not where it should be. So yeah, okay, you know, it's good to fix it, but it's not like critical that it's not perfect uh, visually. Um, and so I'm very happy that, uh, you know, the kind of things I'm finding are very small or also uh, what I'm finding are improvements, but improvements on something that already really works. So, you know, it's nice. Actually, it's really pleasant now to use the app, both uh, the mobile app and Android and the web app uh, in other platforms uh, because A, of course it works and B, it's kind of nice to, to use. It has nice designs. Every time the flow of things, uh, the user experience is better. So this is really nice, but of course we keep improving it. So I was happy to do a little more testing on that and also with other users, uh, with other people. Um, and actually, the other thing I worked on is, um, you know, we're interested in, uh, in uh, bringing back blockchain and what we're doing. Uh, to be precise, you know, my startup before this one was uh, Bitcoin-oriented. Uh, I did something related to uh, multi-signature and cold storage. Uh, this didn't work out, uh, but of course, I've always been interested in the topic. And, you know, unlike many people were jumping on it now because it's so, like, 
cool now and you know like uh, people are raising a lot of money with, with blockchain related themes uh, we want to bring it in our platforms only and only if it makes sense so you know we're not trying to uh, sell you like a, a, a e-commerce of shoes and suddenly we have blockchain in it because wow you know so really since we're working with crypto and cybersecurity, uh, blockchain of course has a lot of crypto related to it so we want to make sure that we use it in places where it does make sense where it ad adds value and not using anywhere else so actually i'm uh, i've been writing a, a write a white paper sorry and i've actually been uh, you know the first draft of this white paper was quite a while ago uh, but of course, when you're a startup, you have to kind of prioritize and focus on things. And, you know, it's just, it was too many things. So we had to be realistic and focus on the product that we're really building and leave the blockchain for when actually we could dedicate time and resources to it. So now that we have a functioning product, it's, I'm glad to be able to re, uh, retake this, uh, this white paper I had started and re-amplify it and, and, and make it uh, broader and, and with more details so I've been working on that lately and uh, I'm almost finished with what I want to achieve before I pass it on to uh, to uh, a tech uh, research R&D and tech uh, institutions uh, that we're actually collaborating with I mean we've been collaborating with them on different topics uh, we have a very good relationship with them I have uh, high respect for, for them and also a level of friendship and you know now we work on different projects with them uh, we all agree it made sense that maybe we could collaborate on that too. So they have some internal capabilities in terms of R&D and implementation of things related to blockchains. They have mathematicians and so on. And they've been working with uh, cybersecurity for a while. So it's a good addition to the team that we have internally. And uh, now, you know, I've done the, the basis, the fundamental of this white paper. And now we're going to collaborate together. So before I open it up to them to contribute, I wanted to make sure I bring it in the, the most, I would say, advanced and organized state as possible. And I think I'm reaching that. I mean, of course, it's never perfect. Uh, and, uh, you know, like over the weekend, I, I, I had printed the whole thing on Friday night and then I reread the whole thing and I still made notes on every page, a lot of notes. So, so uh, this evening, actually, I'll be finishing, hopefully, to put those notes back into uh, the, the digital document and hopefully tomorrow pass it on to them. I'm, I'm eager to... To finish that, but anyway, it was very productive this uh, this weekend because you know again, not being in the office and not having the interruptions, I was able to focus on it, and uh, and I see some good progress and also some interesting new ideas that I had. So anyway, uh, you know we're in the office Monday evening. Actually, everybody just uh, just finished leaving, uh, uh, and I, actually I should talk about the team because uh, you know this is a human adventure, right? I mean it's not just me; it's uh, a group of people who are together to achieve some objectives. And we are here day in, day out. And I must say, I'm very happy of the team I have. Uh, you know, everyone in this area, in their area, whether it's marketing, technology, crypto, everybody's trying to do their best. Everybody wants to do their best. Everybody's excited about what we're doing. And that's really, really nice. And, you know, obviously, uh, something like this, you can only achieve it as a group, not as an individual. So it's nice to have this team. And I'm very lucky to have them. Um, so what else can I tell you today? Uh, okay, <laughs> well, uh, actually today, this morning, if you want to know a little bit about the working of the startup, so we're starting a, a new sprint, so we're doing a, a bit of planning and a revision of the previous sprints and closing some things, and, you know, also we brought, uh, we put a new version in production after intense testing, uh, so this is all nice, and uh, we're also preparing uh, for an event uh, in a couple of weeks in September, we're doing a, an event both physically and uh, online. So we're working on many things related to that, the content, inviting people, uh, landing so that people can uh, register for it, etc., etc. And yes, I think uh, I won't make it too long, so I will end here for the first uh, diary. And, uh, you know, the idea is to be as transparent as possible with you guys. So I'm going to tell you both the good things and the bad things that are happening. Uh, today, actually, it's, uh, it's really only good things, so uh, I'm going to just tell you that, uh, but I will also tell you when there are some, some bad things or whatever. Uh, the only thing, of course, I will be as transparent as possible because that's what I want. On the other hand, we're a security and privacy company, so if anything would con constitute a privacy or security risk in what happened in the day that somebody could 
listen to the video and exploit that one way or the other, then, then maybe this I would refrain. I would probably comment that there is something, but then not tell what it is because that could be a, a danger for the app and the security and privacy. So of course I will never do that, whether it concerns someone in the team or one of our users or whatever it is, or our infrastructure and so on. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot for listening. Welcome to this uh, video diary, uh, which uh, I'm gonna intend to do every day. Uh, let's see if I can find to do that, uh, find time to do this. And uh, you know, at some point we'll publish it. Uh, hopefully we'll have a comment section. And you know, we'd love to have your feedback at any point. So thank you so much. Thanks again to our team at Hushat and talk to you soon.